Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at annuity due. I'm going to show you how to calculate when you, when you have questions on annuity due, how to do so using the financial calculator, the SHARP EL738. How do you do this? Well, we have done the same examples that you're going to look at before. We've done them using the formulas and we explain in, the, in great detail the difference between annuity due and ordinary annuity and how it's calculated. But you'll also see right here, right now. So here's how it works with this financial calculator. The first thing that you always want to do with your financial calculator is to reset or clear the memory of your calculator. So I'm going to press second function and then alpha and then zero and then zero again okay now we can begin look at the first example john deposits 3000 rand into a savings account at the beginning of each year for a period of 10 years this investment earns five percent interest compounded annually calculate how much he will receive in 10 years time now you can see i highlighted here or i underlined beginning okay and that means it's annuity due if the payments occur at the beginning of the period then it's annuity due if it was the end of the period then it was ordinary annuity and you've done same lessons using the same financial calculator but using the ordinary annuity okay examples on ordinary annuity so you can check that one out in the links in the description below okay so now how do we do this in our financial calculator well you should know that your financial calculator by default is an ordinary annuity meaning it's in end mode okay so you have to put it to begin mode okay for payments that occur at the beginning of the period so we press second function and then we press fv over here you can see on top it's written bgn slash end or meaning beginning slash ending okay so we want to change it from ending which is its default default to beginning and you can see what has appeared on top of the calculator there it's bgn which stands for beginning mode okay so don't forget to do that now that you've done that let's do this one here we are told that it's compounded annually and we know that this calculator by default is compounded annually so we are fine so all we need to do is to put start with the number of years how many years 10 years because we asked how much will you receive in 10 years time so we put the number of years which is 10 and then we press n okay and then we put the interest rate which is five percent and then we press i slash y and then we put the payments that will be occurring at the beginning of every period which is three thousand rand so it's going to be depositing three thousand okay and then you can put it as a negative you press the plus slash minus sign don't press the uh, deduction sign or the negative sign here just press the plus slash minus and remember i'm putting it as a negative so that i want my future value to appear as a positive otherwise if you leave it as a positive your future value will appear as a negative it's nothing major you just have to know that they have different signs okay and then i press pmt and then i now compute my future value so i just press here it's written comp and then i press fv and you can see that it has given me my future value if he puts this money 3000 rand at the beginning of each year for the next 10 years at the rate of 5% compounded annually he will receive 39620 rand 36 cents okay that's how much he will receive in 10 years time now let's look at our second example john wants to make an investment that will pay him 2000 rand at the beginning of every month for the next 3 years if the investment offers an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly how much should he invest today another thing to note here is that it's compounded monthly and remember by default your calculator is compounded annually so we need to change it from annually to monthly how do we do that well we know that monthly is obviously 12 months in one year so we press 12 and then we press second function and then we press i slash y and then we want to change that to 12 so i put 12 and then i press enter and then if i press the download arrow you can see the compounding per year is 12 so that's fine so i press on slash c to clear my screen now i can begin my calculation i know that it's for the next three years okay so I'll, he wants to know how much should invest today so we want the present value so it's for the next three years so i put the number of years three and then since it's more than one compounding per year i press second function and then i press n and you can see that's taken three times the compounding per year, which is 12, which has given us 36. And then I press N again to confirm. So you press the number of years, second function, N, and then N again to confirm. Okay. And then now that you've done that, the 12%, we just put it, which is the interest rate. I put 12% and I press I slash Y. And then I put the 2000 rand because he wants an investment that will pay him 2000 rand at the beginning of every month. So I put 2000 and then I put that as PMT. Okay, that's the payment he wants to receive at the end of every month. And then what do we want? We want how much he should invest today. So we put, we press compute and then we press PV. 
And there we have it. He should invest 60,817 and 16 cents if he wants to get 2,000, 2000 rand at the end of every month for the next three years. And once you're done doing your calculations, do not forget to put it back to end mode. Do not, because if you do forget and you do other calculations, which are ordinary annuity, then you will definitely get the wrong answers. So students usually do that. They make that mistake a lot. So just press second function again and press FV. You can see it's begin slash end mode. So it goes back from beginning to end mode, and then you should be fine. So always remember that. I hope you have gained value from this lesson. I hope you have learned something. And if you have, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.